This MATLAB example using Simulink found in MATLAB will demonstrate the concept of amplitude demodulation using envelope detection. For questions on this video, please contact me at http www.freedomuniversity.tv at john at eliteworks.com j-o-h-n at e hyphen l-i-t-e w-o-r-k-s dot com if you have any questions concerning about this video please contact me here this demo is about envelope detection which is used primarily for double sideband large carrier and as you recall double sideband large carrier really consists of a message with a bias or constant that's multiplied with the carrier as a review let's see how this looks like I'm going to run this simulation take a look at what the message looks like multiply this by this carrier here and see what the output of the scope looks like. And we can see that's our double sideband large carrier where our message here with an average value is a sinusoid with a constant. Now I, we can't develop circuits here so what I'm going to do is modulate it, uh, this, take this modulated signal and pass it through a diode but I'm going to simulate it by multiplying it with a pulse train. So what you're going to see here in our next simulink diagram is just the upper part of this amplitude modulated signal. So here's our model for our envelope detector which basically consists of our message with a bias multiplied by this pulse generator and once again this is supposed to model an amplitude modulated signal after it passes through a diode alright so this envelope detection is again associated with double sideband large carrier and we'll run a demo just to do as a reminder here's our message here's our carrier which is just a pulse signal generator and coming out of the product we have a scope that looks like this and so this acts looks like an amplitude modulated signal after it passes through uh, a diode. So this is our rectified signal. Now as you recall, now let's change this again to a sine wave just to illustrate that concept first. So here's our square wave. We're going to change the signal generator to a sine wave. Run it. And here's our message. Car carrier or pulse train remains the same and now we have a rectified amplitude modulated signal which symbolizes our envelope detector app it passes through the diode. Now as you recall this looks like a sampled signal. We can model this as a sampled signal and since this has an average value the spectra of the original signal should be centered around the origin in the frequency domain. So as you recall to recover the sampled signal we need to pass it through a low pass filter and I have it here set it up in this case so here this was set up for 5 Hertz low pass filter since our frequency of our sinusoid is at 1 Hertz alright one cycle is at 1 Hertz alright so let's see what it looks like after the first low pass filter you can see it right here and then you can see there's some um, high frequency effects but we can clean it up with a after coming out of the second low pass filter and that's shown right here clean it up and then after the third low pass filter we get this effect right here All right so we compare that with the original message and you can see it follows pretty closely so let's try another example where we change the message to a square wave and then run it and you can see our effect of a 
model for uh, amplitude modulated signal after it's been rectified. Then it passes the output of the first low pass filter, then the second, and then the third is shown right here. Okay, and you can see there's there's some round off right here, and that's because it takes about nine to eleven harmonics again to generate a square wave, and here we're filtering out some of those harmonics, and that's why you have this round off here. All right, it's because it takes about once again nine to eleven harmonics to generate a square wave, and here the low pass filters are passing. I mean, are filtering out the high frequency harmonics. That's it for the demo for the envelope detector. Hopefully, that clears that up.